Hello everyone, uh, Papercraft Moon here. Um, it's been a while since I filmed a tutorial because I have been busy and uh, yeah, finally I have time again because Christmas is over. So, uh, and it's soon new, new Year. So, this will probably be my last video for 2017. Um, yeah. So I've gotten a lot of questions and I have been thinking about doing a tutorial for these for a very long time now, uh, but I just didn't have time. So these notepad covers is what I've done uh, recently in two sizes, A6 and A5, but I noticed something. Both these are A6 pads and they aren't, it's half an inch gone, so this one is half an inch less tall than, than the other one. So I've made the covers for this one, uh, but uh, there was uh, a few uh, in on my uh, Facebook page, I have a Facebook page now, uh, Papercraft Moon, but I'm mostly writing things in Swedish there but you can hopefully you get in the translating button because uh, in Sweden we don't get the translating button uh, if it's English because uh, we're supposed to know English but everyone doesn't so it's stupid but um, I'm gonna make these uh, and I'm going to show because uh, I got questions of showing the whole process of making these projects uh, and not just starting and showing you um, how uh, what you need for these um, so I'm going to go through how you do for different sizes of notepads so I have an A5 here too so A6, A5, uh, A6 um, I will go through the me measurements on these two and if you are Swedish uh, speaking, uh, I will do this uh, tutorial in Swedish as well. Maybe as a voiceover or maybe I will film uh, another tutorial. So I will show the small, uh, the A6 one in this and maybe do the A5 in Swedish. Um, I think it will be easy for everyone to look at that video too because um, what I'm doing and uh, the measurements is mostly what you need to know. You don't need to know everything I'm saying. Uh, so, uh, we are going to make this. So this is a small one I made yesterday with the paper from Casecraft, I think it is. Uh, I think this is the papers that are called hashtag me or all about me. I don't know, something like that. Uh, I made on the front, made a little pocket for a little um, today I will uh, it says uh, for writing some text and this one has quite long ribbon and here is a cute text that says you're brave braver than you think <laughs> oh you're braver than you believe and stronger than you seem and smarter than you think uh, I think that text is quite nice uh, and here is the notepad and you can take it out as well as this one so uh, you can have it on the next notepad when this is full so this one is what's keeping it in and here is a pocket and in this one I put these in so it's some cute things to write on and here you can write some things as well or have as a something it, this one is empty so it's just two pockets one and two uh, but you can you can put the pocket here too but then you might need more here I, I will go through how to change measurements and things on these uh, and I will be ba <laughs> babbling and being a little bit distracted uh, and unfocused, I think, because I'm 
I'm that kind of person. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have a really hard time focusing uh, and um, it's hard to keep on track when you need to focus on speaking English as well. So that's the small one and here's the big one that I won't be showing now. It also has a pocket on the front with a large book. And this one I made in, uh, I don't know what the papers are called, but it's Echo Park. They're winter. They usually come with two winter um, Christmas uh, collections. Uh, one that's red and Christmassy, and, but I think they came with two red and Christmassy this year. And they came with blue, more winterish. Anyway, they did last year and this year, so I think it's kind of what they usually do. And this one has accordion pocket here. A big pocket. And open up here. It has two of these uh, just small pockets that you can fit in just a few layers of paper. And I put in some of these because they were cute. And here is the notepad. Uh, you can also take that one out. And on this one I also have a secret uh, page opening here. Where you can uh, have photos and things. Um, if you like. Yeah, uh, it's not just for notes. You can have some photos in and a little bit things that you want to put in these. And I used a belt buckle. It's from Tim Holtz. It seems like they are out of stock everywhere. I'm, I don't know. I think they are a bit older, but I really li like them more than the um, ribbon. Anyways, we are going to start, um, and I'm going to show in this video how to make for an A61 with a size, if, because they are different sizes. Um, I'm gonna show how to make one for and for one with the size of six and one fourth by four and one eighth. Uh, so it's six and one fourth that way and four and one eighth that way. Uh, so to I'm making the notepad as small as I or the cover as small as it's can be because I want it to be more compact I think that's the word uh, in Swedish it is anyways um, I want it not to be flimsy or too big but you can make it bigger um, it's quite easy actually to with the size but this is the smallest possible for the A61 uh, and I just adding uh, one fourth to both sides so uh, the shipboard that I'm already cut out is six and a half by four and three eighths. And that's because uh, when you. Uh, the notepad is one four by one eight. So this one here, uh, if you have it at four and one eight here then you will have trouble to get it down so this is actually um see here so uh four and one fourth this so it's easier to get it down uh, so uh the page in here is one eight less than a shipboard yeah i'm confusing things should have made myself more focused, but I'm messy and forgetful and unfocused. Anyways, just I'm gonna try anyway to make this as simple as possible. Um, so, anyways, shipboard one fourth uh, bigger than the uh, the notepad, and if you work in centimeters, this is. 16 by 10 and a half. That's nice. For once, it's um, not down on 
7mm uh, and things like that, uh, then I would n not go down on two small millimeters. I mean, uh, I wouldn't go down on um, like having uh, make it 11.7 centimeters because I think it's hard. So with this, I would make it a centimeter bigger um, on both sides. So 17 by 11 and a half, uh, and then make the papers inside because uh, you see here is the side when you stuck it in so I made it an eight less but uh, with centimeters I will make it a half less I really hope this makes sense uh, I'm making myself confused it's easier if I'm starting to show instead of just babbling so you need two pieces of shipboard for a notepad that is six and one fourth by four and one eight. You need a shipboard to be six and a half by four and three eighths, uh, and then you need cardstock, um, which I haven't prepared. So, which color should this one be? Be uh, we taking? No, not that one. Oh, we take this one. Oh. And I'm sorry, I might be a little bit boring this time because I'm starting to get sick. I have been starting to get sick for over a week and it's starting to break out. Uh, and that's not funny to start 2018 with being sick. Um, I'm going to make a red one this time. I haven't made a red one, so making a red one. Uh, if you have Stampin' Up! supplies, this red paper is really close to uh, Sherry Cobbler. Here's Sherry Cobbler, and here's the red one I have. It, this one is just a little bit lighter, this one is more darker, but they are really, really close to each other. So you need one, two, Three and four A fours, I think it was. And now the fun part begins because these pieces are so small, they fit both on an A4. So um, you just have to cut the A4 in half, and half is about five and seven eight, something like that. So there's the wrap for the shipboard, uh, and I have a sheet note uh, because I said that uh, the cardstock that makes the page is going to be one eight less uh, than the cardstock, uh, the shipboard. Um, so then you will, then the page will be four and one fourth uh, so you have two sides and a back so four and one fourth plus four and one fourth eight and a half and I'm doing eight and uh, and I'm doing a half an inch as a back but I'm realizing the half an inch uh, might get too little if you want to decorate it more inside so um, I will go for a half an inch because it works, but if you want more things bulking, then you might have to do the spine 5 8 uh, or more if you want to put the other things in. So, this is quite easy to. So, my paper needs to be 9 inches by. Um, six and three eighths and uh, the shipboard as I said was a six and a half high and I'm making the cardstock page uh, one eight less so then it needs to be six and three eighths so cutting six and three eighths by nine to get the page 
the both uh, so it, the shipboard pieces will be together and the back there. Uh, then we have that piece that will keep the pad in, and that piece needs to be two inches by five and one fourth. After, because we're going to score it one and a half, one half here and one half here and fold it. Then we need that little uh, extra uh, page for the pocket. Uh, and it needs to be uh, 4 and 7 eighths because the page is 4 and 1 fourth. Then I want an 8 as uh, so it's the pocket can bulk out a bit. And then five and then a half an inch for uh, the hinge, so it can be stuck on the page. So uh, four and one fourth plus five eighths are four and seven eighths. I really hope I'm not making this more messy. And this needs also to be six and three eighths high, because it's going to be stick on inside so the height is the same on those because no scoring on those and then we have this we have the two pockets uh, so you need two pieces to measure five and one fourth by three and a half and three and a half you can make the pockets more if you want them higher um, if you want the pockets to go up more on the page, then you just make it more. Uh, I want mine at 3 inches and uh, the half is here, so it makes a bottom. Yeah, I, I don't understand what I'm saying myself. Just try to do what I'm doing. Um, that was the pockets, and then we need a piece that is the whole A4 length uh, and uh, the width of the pad. So, four and one fourth by the whole, and this is uh, the piece that goes like around on the pad. So. Yeah, scoring. Uh, this one needs to be scored at because you want some uh, little bit more so it's easier to grab it and pull it up over. So this one won't be as far. It will be one eighth more than the length of the pad. So it will be at six and three eighths. Uh, and then it's about three eighths thick. This. Uh, um, Pad, so it needs to be scored at six and three fourths as well. That's one done. Uh, pocket score at half and uh, three three inches at on the three and a half inch uh, side, and then on the long side at half an inch and four and three fourths, and you do it on the both of them. I'm not sure if this video is going to get any good because I'm so unfocused and strange and everything in between. Uh, this is the 2 inch by 5 and 1 fourth and you just score it on the long side at half an inch and 4 and 3 fourths. Uh, and this is the 9 by 6 and 3 eighths. You only score on the 9 uh, and here. One page, four and one fourth. Then the back is a half an inch, so score it again at four and three fourths. And then we have a page uh, left that is one, uh, four and one fourth. Uh, and here is the extra piece for the pockets, uh, and it needs to be scored at four and one fourth because it's a whole page. And then just uh, at four and three eighths for a little bit of space, so, uh, so the um, 
pocket doesn't bulk out too much. It needs a little bit. Um, yeah, that's all the scoring for now. Oh, my head. It feels like my head is going to explode. Um, yeah, we have these two pieces for the shipboard. And I'm just have just put some tape on the shipboard and then placing them as so much I can in the middle of this paper. But I have no eye measurement. So come on. So both on then uh, cutting the corners off, uh, you need to leave one eighth of an inch here. Uh, so, and if you work in centimeters, it's about two millimeters, two three millimeters. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, really, but don't cut too close to the corner because then you will have black or whatever shipboard color you have sticking out and it's pretty sometimes and very ugly most times I think I can show here some black is sticking out not that much I have a few already done because um, I'm making a lot of them these uh, a bunch of them and then I'm just sitting and decorating and I have no use for them, really. Just saving them as fast gifts if someone is... Um, yeah, if someone has their birthday and I forget about it or something. I don't know. These are very good gifts, actually. Because you can't have too many notepads and it's a nice... Uh, cover paper does not survive for ages if you use it a lot but it will uh, survive for a while and it will actually uh, get worn down in a kind of pretty way I think it doesn't it doesn't break apart uh, like maybe fabric will it more will get edges a bit. Uh, uh, more soft and I don't know um, but uh, they will survive longer than um, the notepads so I think you can kind of have one notepad and use it up and then switch three times or something without this one um, getting old or breaking apart if you're careful putting the notepads in um, me and tape, we aren't best friends anymore. Uh, oh god, I'm getting sticky everywhere. And me and Tombo, we are not friends. Uh, I hate Tombo. I really do. Hate it, hate it, hate it. It made everything sticky. I'm still sticky and it was three weeks ago I used it. I hate it. Really do hate it. I don't have the eraser for it, so that's why I'm hating it. Uh, no, but it, it was really sticky. So if you're getting Tombow, um, remember it's really sticky and it uh, when you push a little bit, nothing will come out. And then you push a little bit more and everything just falls out. Or pours out from it. So... We cut the corners and put tape. You see the tape. Yeah, I should talk more about what I'm doing. Uh, and just like my album, this is a little bit like how the albums are put together. I'm using the table as help for making this one fold over. And then taking the backing of the tape off. And doing this, and where is my bone folder now? It's something that I do every day. Whatever I'm doing, I'm always losing my bone folder. 
Here it is. Is No. Okay. Now you're on camera. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah. <laughs> My boyfriend, he's cleaning the home and he wants to make sounds and I'm filming and I'm in the middle of the living room because I don't have my own craft room. I'm taking over the living room. Yeah. So now both uh, of these, the long sides are folded over. Now the bone folder, you just need to uh, get the corners squashed in a bit. Um, and here you will notice if you have cut enough because sometimes you don't have anything to pull in here and sometimes you do and I should have used another color I think or no it doesn't go into the table that much and uh, now the corners are in and I'm folding over again This, uh, it's here in the corners, you will know if you have cut too much when you have cut off the corners. Uh, there will be a black line here if you cut too much. Uh, I haven't on this one, or here is a little bit of black, but it's fine. We're gonna put, put the page on and it won't be showing that much. Uh, yeah, on this one I was a little bit messy. And I just realized that I don't really have any paper that goes with this red, so yeah, it's gonna be fun decorating this. Uh, I can use black and white papers. Anyways, now we have dressed in our shipboard. I love dressing in shipboard. It takes a lot of time, but <laughs> it's so nice. So, now we take this piece uh, that is the 9 by 6 and 3 eighths. Um, and just fold on the score lines and then we're gonna tape again I think I should have choose another color because the tape's not really showing but I'm putting tape now I folded the back so here's the back and the page so you put tape close to the back but not on the back uh, on both sides of it so completely over both of these pages but not on the back because it's going to be free and yes this uh, notebook cover doesn't have a spine in shipboard because I'm I'm not good with that I, I can't do it uh, I have too thick paper and too little patience to do that and I kind of like this way more I don't know why I don't like having the spine uh, so this is kind of spineless <laughs> that was really funny uh, and now we're taking the shipboard pieces in again, pulling the backing off on one side first, and then um, you eyeball it, make sure that you kind of get it as far away from the sides um, all around so it's even. Yeah, that's even. Even enough. Uh, and I'm using my table as a trash can. And then we're gonna eyeball this one too. Yeah. Uh, see here if I can get it completely as I want so now we have um, the 
I don't know what's called in English, but in Swedish it's perm. Uh, we have the outer part of our, yeah, the spine here that is just cardstock. Uh, but it will survive because I have had one of these, but a little bit smaller, uh, in my pocket for weeks uh, when I'm out. So now we are going to take this piece, the 4 and 7 eighths by 6 and 3 eighths, and we're gonna fold both score lines. It can be hard to fold this a little bit because it's just 1 eighth between them. And then we put tape on our half an inch uh, flap. Flappy flap. And the backing off. Choose which side you want to have as, yeah. Uh, and I have, I have my notepad on the right side. Um, it's upside down. Yeah, my videos are upside down and they will be for a while. Anyways, uh, I have my notepad on the right side, so my pocket's on the left, so this page needs to be stuck. And I'm sticking it down to, uh, if you see, you see that here, oh, it's really hard to show, but uh, the page runs here, and then it's bulking out shipboard, so... Uh, you are going to follow the line of the page, not the shipboard, when you're placing this. So. And then we take both the pockets. And putting some tape on them. On, on the three flaps that the pockets have. Uh, so I will have all the measurements in the description below if I remember to put them there. I probably will. I hope I will. Anyways, um, then I'm folding these. So the taping is over, because I really hate putting tape on things. I need a tape runner, because it's starting to get very time consuming putting sticky strip on. Cause, but sticky strip is stronger, and I like that it's strong, because then things are not falling apart. Like using tear tape to put the boxes together wasn't so smart of me in the beginning. Uh, you get smarter with the years. So, here's the extra pocket um, page. Uh, I have a pocket here and on here. So, I'm putting the pocket on this one first. So, uh, take away the tape on all three of these, but keep in mind that the pages, uh, these flap on the sides, don't stick down. Uh, and it's easier to turn it around, fold this one in, and make sure you are at the corner here. And at the um, line, the page for, yeah, I forget words. Anyways, it's going to be lining up with this. And then you just fold in this side and make sure it lines up with the score line there. And this, and make sure it lines up with the side here. So, and the same on the inside here. And I'm still using my table as a trash can. So I have a lot of things on it. Uh, so this one, uh, you remember you have the page line and you have the shipboard. Follow the page line, not the shipboard. 
So I'm putting this one against the corner of here, making sure I'm lining up with the side there and with the score lines. And here, score line, and here, score line. So now we have the both of the pages and pockets. Now we have this one. Um, the best thing with these is that you can put them together completely and then have the DSP on because I made it that way so you don't have to put them together a little bit then DSP on and then put in things uh, so the DSP will go on this uh, after everything is put together so you can have a lot of these done um, and decorate them when you want to I have three more here I made before um, and two where I decorated one yesterday and one today and this one we're gonna have here make sure that you have your pockets down here and it's going to be placed up and this pad is going to be here uh, you see this black uh, it will make so this one won't be able to come all the way up so you need to put this one uh, as far down on the page as this one uh, that we have there and mine is one centimeter so I am <laughs> using centimeters and inches here but this is just a small thing and and centimeter was better than using a few um, eights but if you want to use eights uh, it will be three eights if your um, is like mine about three eights it will be and just drawing a line here so I will have it completely um, lined and then again you will follow the line of the page not the shipboard so I'm placing it here following the draw line seeing so it's straight folding this one in making sure I straight so and then you can erase this one bit we will have um, decorate DSP on there so now most everything is quite done and uh, the only thing left is to put in magnets and decorate uh, where's my magnets and I will try to remember to put down where I'm getting my magnets if I can remember who I bought them from because I it's someone from eBay that's called Spider or Spy or something like that. I think it's Spider. Uh, spider Magnets, something. Uh, anyways, um, I will put the link in. Really good seller. Um, fast. I live in Sweden and I think he or she ships from the US. If I'm not completely wrong and I'm usually have it within a week so it's fast I think it's fast and they always come in a really small package so it fits uh, in the mailbox but I don't think I'm getting them in the mailbox anyways uh, uh, um, anyways he has magnets that is a uh, uh, 0 0.5 millimeters thick which means they are really great to hide on the paper. I could only get uh, one millimeter thick before uh, and they weren't that great having on the paper. These will um, 0 0.5 millimeter thick, they will still be, you will still feel them under the paper but they are quite thin so they won't be bulking out too much and I'm putting it in 
a bit on the side because otherwise the uh, DSP won't be able to hug around it. So I'm putting one on the pocket there, one above the pocket and then one up here. So I'm having three uh, pairs of magnets because I want it that way. <laughs> but you can just go with one if you like uh, and make sure these are lining up and pressing down. So now it's done. It's completely done um, except for the decoration part. Uh, which I will cut out pieces um, and then we can stick in on uh, decorate it together it's gonna show you that you will be able to tuck in DSP uh, and I hope I have remembered everything and then I didn't make it messier uh, trying to show the way how to do these because it's really simple you have your notepad and to make a cover for it the smallest possible uh, cover you can make for one is making it one centimeter uh, more uh, both sides or one fourth um, if you go in inches and one fourth will be smaller I think than one centimeter um, so you're aware of that, that the centimeter one will be a little bit bigger. Anyways, uh, I will get some decorations and we will fix that. So see you in a few seconds. So, now I have fixed some paper to decorate this one with. Uh, but first we need some ribbon. And I think this is matching color, actually. No, craft card. Uh, the Mark Panduro have some matching color, just like Stampin' Up, uh, and I thought this was, but this is kind of close, so I will use this ribbon, actually, as um, the closing thing on this. So, just need to measure out the mid middle, which is three and three fourths. And then put some tape. You can close this in any way you like. Uh, I use usually ribbon because I don't have any more of those belt buckles. But I think I got, I don't know if they were the same, they were Tim Holtz, but they looked a little bit different, I think. Uh, my hands on some more belt buckles, so we'll see. If they are the same. Bless you! Or close it. Uh, so now I have the middle there and just so, so yeah maybe it should Close it up a little bit, see so it getting completed right. Yeah. So and so it doesn't come off. I need to stick some tape over. So uh, I wouldn't use this ribbon, but uh, it was was I had closest to me in the same color. And a bit lazy. I'm lazy and I know it. So uh, I took uh, this paper. Um, these black and white papers are from first edition. Uh, their paper pad that is called Blackout. Uh, and I think they are going to run out of it soon. Because I think it's about a little bit more than a year old this but I think they have had black out uh, black and white papers before so probably they will come with more and I'm doing my 
uh, DSP papers um, one eighth less than the page. But I think I made something wrong with this one. Yeah, I did something wrong with this one. So it's on the front. Yeah. Okay, I will have this there made wrong on the front and fix something to cover it up. But I usually have one eighth less than a page, but this one got one fourth less because I did and notice. Oh, this is gonna bulk. Yeah, really great. I'm took a ribbon that bulks too much. Yeah. Anyways, use flat ribbon, not. St I think this is cro short crochet something. Uh, use flat ribbon or some other closure that doesn't make the paper bulk. Like, yeah. So. And here on the inside, I went with that there, this one there, that one there. Um, where did that piece go? There, with that one. And um, you see, these are full pages, so. To make it easier to stick things down uh, or get things down in the pocket so they don't um, get stuck on the thing here that we folded in uh, for the bottom. Um, it's quite smart to put the DSP in like this and make sure it's lined up like you want it. And now it won't because it's hide the things is hiding behind the DSP. Same here, we have those two that we folded in the flaps with tape to stick it down, but now we're covering them up so nothing will get stuck in them. Like my DSP is getting a little bit stuck. And just make sure it's lined up. So. And then we have a little piece for this one. Uh, this won't be showing, so you don't have to have any DSP here. You don't have to have DSP anywhere. You can just do as you please. Uh, but I think it's nice to have some DSP under. Um, anyways. Because it's nice when you switch uh, pad to see it's DSP all through this. Uh, and then we take this one. So. I really hope this video became okay to follow to make these. Uh, they aren't that hard, I think. Um, or I'm just saying it because I came up with well, now I'm out on a bike. Um, I put the paper on the wrong side because I wanted the black one here in the pocket. So, and this white one with flowers I wanted here. So, and then this one on the pocket. And if you have some stamps with nice words or not paper with some nice words, you can put them here on the pockets. I have done that on some of mine. Uh, if you use um, Graphic 45 papers, you have those inferior cards, those 3x4, they fit perfectly here. It just, this page is 3x4 and 1 8, so it would be a little bit bigger. But yeah, uh, or 
but the pocket is big, <laughs> a little bit bigger. Uh, yeah, now we're going to go over to the thing I forgot. This is the thing that's going over this, like this. And if you stick it down, then it will not uh, be able to be in <laughs> with the cover when you switch the pad. So just have it run like this or make it built in here. I didn't do that because somehow in my brain I think it will be weird and not be able to flimsy open easy that easy. Anyways, um, this shorter piece is the back piece because uh, for it to getting down in that band we need to just notch in a little bit in this so I'm just notching in a little little bit so it looks like so it's just to make it a little bit easier and I cut out some DSP for this one as well And I will try to film a bigger one, but as I said, it will probably be filmed in Swedish. And I don't like using Swedish uh, when I'm making videos, because I'm always going over to English, because all the names of things and, yeah, and things, um, I only know them in English and not Swedish. A paper piercer? I have no idea what that's in Sweden. No freaking idea. So, now it's in. And it's perfect. So. And this uh, might be a little bit boring, but because uh, it's only black and white. And red. So, and because I had some of this ribbon in the back here and it has some holes, I will use uh, where did I put those? These to make a jewelry. I don't know if you see it, it's a hinge for um, necklaces. So I can hang it, a thing in here, make it pretty, uh, prettier. And yeah, the front and things is bulking up, and I hate it. I should probably switch ribbon. <laughs> I'm I'm not thinking smart. I'm thinking lazy sometimes. Anyways, it's done. It's decorated. Um, um, yeah, kind of decorated. Uh, it has this be on. Um, I mostly don't show when I'm putting DSP on um, and it's easy to open and notepad is here and it has two pockets and an extra side for putting things on um, that you want to have showing or something you can put a photo so these are quite smart I think quite happy with them. Compact. Really compact. Uh, so I hope you liked this video. Sorry for my messiness and sorry for it being so freaking long. Uh, they are quite fast. Um, I think it took me a morning, uh, about three hours to make five covers of these and then I didn't sit and make made them. Um, fast. I took it slow, took a break, look at my phone, change the music and uh, yeah. So you can make a lot of these in one day and decorate them over time. Uh, really nice gifts and notepads aren't that expensive I don't think. I think these A6 in Swedish and 19 kroners and that's about two dollars. If a dollar worth 10 kroners. 
uh, I don't know what the dollar is right now. Anyways, uh, these aren't so expensive to do. And I also made gift box for it. And it's quite easy to make a gift box. Just make the gift box, as you see, a little bit bigger than the notepad. Uh, because I took a bit of tissue paper to wrap it in, looking a little more exclusive. Um, I can actually show this one too. Um, this is with the new papers from first edition called Under the Sea, I think. I think this is Under the Sea or something shoreline. I don't remember. Something like that. And here is jewelry with a dolphin and an anchor um, so you can make gift boxes for these as well this one is also not that decorated it said notes here so you can do these as you like and make a quite nice sturdy flat quite flat um, gift box so you have these ready to give away. Um, I actually think this red one is going to be in a giveaway for me. Yeah, anyways, I'm babbling again. <laughs> oh, I need to put the lock on my mouth. Anyways, I hope you like this video. Already said that. Uh, the description, uh, or in the description, the measurements will be for this. Um, the bigger one has more things it has extra page and a bigger pocket and uh, um but uh, i will show that one too and i will show it probably in swedish um trying to explain again how to do this uh, in different sizes um i don't know if i can or i will make a voiceover of this and do the bigger one in english as well uh but it will be only I will only show two of these. I won't sit and show for the smaller A6 pad. I don't know why they are different sizes. Anyways, now stop talking. God, I, I, I have a problem, I think. Anyways, um, uh, I'm quite finished now, I think. So, uh, Happy New Year. I hope everyone is getting um, a great 2018. Um, I have had quite a messy 2017, <laughs> but a really fun one. So I hope and I think 2018 will have a lot of great things for me because I'm having classes. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, hope you like this. Uh, even though I'm babbling again and saying hope you like this for the 50th time. Um, go in and like my page on Facebook. I'm writing mostly in Swedish there. But I think you have the translating button. Uh, I hope. Um, and I will try to remember to write in English as well. Anyways. Uh, Happy New Year. And see you in the next video. And I promise I won't speak that much. Bye bye. Hej då.